हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड एंड फाइनल वीडियो ऑफ लेसन वन सोशल स्टडीज नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज लेट्स यूज डायरेक्शंस इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट स्केच लैंडमार्क मैप एटलस व्हाट इज लोकेटिंग what are the four main directions cardinal points how to find a direction in an unknown place how to read directions in a map what are sub directions and then we had started about learning about instruments instruments for finding directions we have read few lines today we will move further i hope you all have underlined and written the definitions which i told you to underline you have got you have gone through the lesson as well so now moving further this i explain what is a north north star or a pole star in the olden times the sailor they used to use it they use sun and stars to find directions up to here i have explained so now moving further how did people know the time in olden days when there were no clocks or watches they could tell the time with the help of shadows of objects formed by the sunlight so the question here is in the olden times when people had no watches or clocks how did they find out the time and the answer is they could tell the time with the help of shadows of objects formed by the sunlight it can be a question it is a question given here actually how did people find time in olden days when they had no clocks or watches and the answer itself is given here they could tell the time with the help of shadows of objects formed by the sunlight how did they find out with the help of shadows which was formed by sunlight now moving further a sundial is an instrument which shows time and direction in a sundial when the sunlight falls on the indicator it forms a shadow on the dial in the picture you can see the shadow of the indicator pointing close to 3 pm on the dial where the hours are marked so what is a sundial sundial is also called a sun clock with the help of a sundial or sun clock we can easily find time and direction both the image of a sundial is given here on the left side of this page at the bottom you can see it is a sundial so in this how we find out time and direction so it's written when the sunlight falls on the indicator in this image this is the dial this is the dial the base in which the round circle is drawn and the numbers are written it is the dial and in the middle in the middle there is one you can say a stand like structure this is the indicator this is the indicator the light the sunlight the sun rays when falls on it it form this object this indicator it forms an image or a shadow this dial and it tells about time and direction so it's very simple with the help of shadow only we, here we are finding out time and direction so a sun dial or a sun clock is an instrument which shows time and direction both i think you all have understood you can underline this one it is a sundial a sundial is an instrument which shows time and direction a sundial is an instrument which shows time and direction now moving to the next page there is one image given here at the left side of this page 
it is a magnetic compass a magnetic compass is an instrument used by sailors to know directions magnetic compass is an instrument which is used by the sailors to know directions it is like a watch with the four main directions marked on it it has one long needle which always points towards the north once you know the north direction you can know the other directions very easily now you have learned how to read maps you can follow the correct path with the help of landmarks and cardinal directions and with the treasure so we are not we will not talk about the treasure here we will talk about the magnetic compass how does it work so if you have seen a magnet magnet would say a bar magnet a bar magnet is as you know it is, it is the it is something like this shape of a bar if you will suspend this is a string this is a string if you will suspend a bar magnet with the help of a string freely in the air it will align itself automatically in the north south direction automatically that is its nature so we use this principle in this magnetic compass and that is why the needle always points towards the north so now i think you have learned how a magnetic needle magnetic compass works in that uh, in this dial in the magnetic compass there is a dial like a watch like a watch and different different directions are written on it and the magnetic needle this is north south this is the southeast there is one needle in the middle of it and this needle this will point towards the direction this will always point towards north this needle it will always align itself towards the north direction and when we will use we can find the direction with the help of it so i think you have understood how a magnetic compass works now there is a very small information just for your knowledge i am explaining it's given here in the box map making is a skill maps are made by experts who are called cartographers so a question may arise who are called cartographers so cartographers are the experts those who make maps and if i change the question if i ask you what is cartography so cartography is the subject in which we study about the maps we learn about the maps cartography and when when we talk about cartographers we are talking about the persons the experts who are skilled in making maps it's very easy who are the cartographers the experts who are skilled in making maps they are called the cartographers it's very easy if you want you can write this uh, answer in your copy it is just for your extra knowledge nothing else now a quick recap of the lesson what we have learned so the first point a sketch what is a sketch if you have gone through the video my last two videos nicely and thoroughly then you can easily answer what is a sketch a sketch is a rough drawing without any measurement second point landmark 
a landmark is any large fixed object or important place that can be visible e visible easily from a distance or that can be seen easily from a distance now coming to the next point what is a map a map is a flat drawing of any part of the earth's surface it is also a drawing but it is a drawing with measurements correct and accurate measurements next point a map shows the shape of the land presence of water bodies and the position of cities in short we can say it gives us a detailed information it gives us specifications it is not just a rough drawing maps are put together in the form of a book called atlas what is an atlas i told you I told you to underline also you must have so what is an atlas it is a book what kind of book collection of maps next point early humans planned their hunting expeditions by drawing maps on the ground how early humans uh, planned their hunting expeditions what is an expedition this also i have told you it's given in your book so how they planned their expeditions by drawing maps on the ground next point there are four main directions north south east and west these are also called what are they called yes cardinal points there are four sub directions as well northeast southeast southwest and northwest next point the top of the map is the north <coughs> the bottom is the south to our right is the east and our, our left is the west sundial and magnetic compass just now i explained how a sundial or a magnetic compass works <coughs> or what is it one more point i have explained that what is what is cartography and who are cartographers <coughs> i think you can answer both <coughs> now moving to the exercises first one is fill in the blanks very simple exercise you can easily answer all the questions if you have gone through the video a dash is a rough drawing without any measurement the options are sketch and map and the answer very easy yes sketch a dash is a rough drawing without any measurements a sketch is a rough drawing without any measurement second one early men planned their hunting expeditions by drawing maps on the this question i would not say that it is related to this chapter it is just a question of your common sense can you draw a map on a sea in water can you draw a line in water you can never draw a line in water so sea will never be the answer the answer will be ground <coughs> moving to the next question the four main directions north south east and west are called what are they called four main directions yes yes they are called cardinal points <coughs> fourth dash is a path along which someone or something is moving or pointing the options are compass and direction what is a compass it is an instrument and the question is talking about a path so the answer will be direction when you look at any map the top of the map is the east or north the answer is north in any map the topmost part is the north now coming to the question number 2 tick the correct answer a sketch is also called very easy a rough map a compass a landmark a rough map yes the oldest maps were made on options are paper stones and ground the oldest the early people the early men they made maps on the ground but those map we can't find now so the answer will not be ground the answer will be on stones <coughs> question number 3 if your right hand is pointing towards the rising sun again this question it's not about uh, it's not you can say that if you have read the lesson then only you can answer it's just a question of your common sense if your right hand is pointing towards the rising sun in the east your left hand is pointing to the west yes if your right so if my right hand is pointing towards east then my left hand will be pointing towards west the direction between north and east is very easy northeast 
when there were no clocks or watches people could tell the time with the help of three options stars shadows and winds we are talking about time so the answer will be shadows when there were no clocks or watches just i told you just now I told you here here how did people know the time in olden days when there were no clocks or watches and the answer is given here only they could tell the time with the help of shadows of objects formed by the sunlight so no surprise this is the same thing that is given here when there were no clocks or watches people could tell the time with the help of shadows yes moving to the question number 3 an important place that can be seen easily an important place any large fixed object or an important place that can be seen easily from a distance what is that called yes landmark so the answer will be landmark the four main directions the four main directions which are also called the cardinal points which are they new answer yes north south east and west north african in short north south east and west a flat drawing of the earth's surface showing the shape of the land a flat drawing of earth's surface showing the shape of the land so it's talking about the shape of the land not a rough drawing so what is it it is a map yes a book of maps or collection of maps in a book is called a called an atlas yes moving to the next question an instrument used by sailors to know directions this is magnetic compass i am not trying to explain much because it will take uh, much time i have to complete this video in a short time <coughs> that is why i will give the question answers in the pdf form this is the last exercise that i am going to explain now as you all can see these figures the first one is the first option we have is lighthouse among these five figures which one is the lighthouse if you don't know sometimes the one of the method to find the correct answer is the process of elimination if you don't know the correct answer just eliminate the, the one you know this will never be the lighthouse this it cannot because there these are the sub directions and directions this is the rough map this is the magnetic compass so which one is the lighthouse this one so by the process of elimination elimination process elimination method also we can find out the answer so you can write option number a here now coming to the next question a sketch of a route simply you can see only one sketch here rough drawing yes you can write down here option number b sub directions option number c sub directions where is the sub direction where are the sub directions drawn here this one you can write down option number c next directions on a map where is map among this five figure only this one here only we have the map so this one will this one will be the answer number d you can just write it down here magnetic compass very easy just now i explained in this video this one is the magnetic compass so this chapter i think it's complete I have explained everything, each and every point, each and every line. I hope you all have written. Now it's time. You have to write all these exercises in your copy, in your school copy, in your fair copy. And you have to learn it. This There are question answers also. Question number 5. There are 5 question answers. This I will give you the answers in the PDF form. Okay, students thank you study well